Hi, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. Welcome back to a new video tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a snack bar. And then I'll show you how you can integrate your snack bar with floating action button. So here I have designed a uh, sample application for you. So here is floating action button. If I press this floating action button, it shows that the message sent okay and it also shows that the action if I press on the undo then it restored the message right okay restore the message so this feature you may have seen into your gmail or inbox while sending an email so it shows that either shows that the message sent then undo okay so I'm gonna show you how you can design this one so let's uh, start while okay great so we are not going to do um, yes we need to do here uh, some programming into activity main.xml so let's start with the activity main okay so I'm gonna first uh, delete this text wave and then I'm going to change this constant layout into a relative layout and then of course we need here a floating action button right so we want here I think we do not have floating action button oh of course we need to first here you know add a dependency design supported dependency so please click on plus button and then support design otherwise it will not support floating action button okay so while it is syncing let's see if it has got that floating action button no let it first finish this griddle okay See inside this application it has added okay the gradle is syncing now the gradle has synced already now let's floating action button and wrap content and of course wrap content and then the id i'm gonna put id as fab and then the gravity okay so the gravity I'm gonna put uh, the gravity layout you can see actually you know how you are here we do not need gravity we need align parent bottom that's the true and then align parent end that's the true and you can see into here right and then we want some margin that's the 16 dps default margin and then we want to set here a pep size and that's the normal size okay and now let's uh, uh, set some you know resource uh, I mean uh, icon there so let's first uh, import that resource I'm gonna import that resource uh, as email so here this one and let's give this email as this name as email and I would like to change also the color this to make it as white and then I'm gonna put here that source as email okay see now this is really very cool now we are done with main act uh, with activity main now let's come back to the main activity.java file so inside main activity.java file we need to create here our floating action button that is a fab and uh, we need to also create here a snack bar equal to the snack bar of course and then press command and the option and the L it will automatically reformat your whole code and then now we need to take the reference for our fab and then of course it is 
find v by id r dot id and with the fab id and then fab dot set on click listener this is just a button okay so you need to follow the same code as we have been following into the button now we need to instantiate our snag bar so it's a really very simple snag bar is equal to new new snag bar dot make okay oh i think i have to select this dot make okay mm -hmm. no this one is not working no this one is also not working uh, let me see what is happening here um, snack bar dot make and then i would like to pass here the message first of all that i have to pass here weep okay and then the message so the message is you can see the message sent of course so the message sent and uh, then finally it wants the time okay so it's a length dot sort right and uh, then snack bar is equal to you know make right so here it shows that the message sent now let's set the action if i show you this one you will see that the action would not be displayed there now i'm gonna show you how you can display the action but let's first test this into our emulator Uh, nothing is coming why yes I have not said there dot show message right so I had to say here dot show otherwise nothing will be shown there of course uh, sorry this 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 cannot be executed okay so I have to set here snack bar dot show okay now this is right See here message sent and uh, there is nothing action and one more things you may notice here so this is snag bar is coming over a floating action button so i'll fix it throughout the tutorial and i did it intentionally so that you can understand how you can do this one i mean i i'll fix it when you press it it will automatically move up okay so i'll do that later so let's remove this dot show as of now and uh, now we need to set our set action for a snack bar so snack bar dot set action and then i want to show there undo and the new on click listener don't forget to put their semicolon and then i'm gonna show here a toast and the name of that toast is message restored okay message restored right so this is this was about when have on click listener okay so after this is i mean a uh, uh, snack action snack bar dot set action then what we want here we want v v is equal to snack bar dot get weep right so here i'm gonna set a color okay so i'm going to change the color right so i'm going to change the color but before that i'll show you how it will look like okay if i don't change the color of course snack bar dot show now let's run it
and if you see in the emulator see message sent and if I press if I click on undo you will see the message restored okay so let's first fix this one so that this have button can move upside okay when I press on this snack uh, where this uh, floating action button so that can be done by using a coordinator layout so for that I have to add here a coordinator layout okay so the coordinator layout match parent and a match parent right so inside this coordinator layout I have to put this floating action button right now you can see here it is at up down so for that I need to remove this align parent and then I have to put here gravity okay so the android and then layout gravity and uh, this layout gravity I'm gonna put it to bottom and then to the left okay of course uh, I'm gonna put it to bottom right okay either you can say the end and uh, apart from this I think everything is fine now if I uh, run this application you will see fab button will automatically move when your snack bar comes from below And in meantime, I'm gonna create few more color for our snack bar background and snack bar text color. See here, how great is this? This is really great. This is coordinator layout. So this is perfect designing technique, right? So as you see here, uh, background color is you know dark gray, and the name is following here default ascent color. So I want to change color here. So I have to create here first a color resource. So first color is going to be a color snack bar background. Okay. So snack bar background. And then another color resource I would like to put a snack bar text. Okay. color snack bar text and then another color I would like to provide snack bar action okay snack bar action perfect and now let's choose this color snack bar background so for background okay I would like to choose uh, something let's say a green with a 200 a200 intensity okay and uh, for a snack bar text I would like to choose uh, let's say mm, this red with at least uh, 900 intensity okay and uh, for snack bar accent I would like to choose this purple color with 800 intensity right so now let's change the accent bar you know the color so what we need to do here we need to get a weave into V and then V dot set background okay V dot set background color then get resources and then of course get color and then R dot color dot color snack bar background and then next one is going to be a text weave okay so what we are going to get from here so if you see here um, there is a text weave right so these are the two text weaves so I'm gonna set the, the color of those text weaves so first of all that we have to get the reference of that text weave so the text weave is equal to 
a text width is equal to a text width and then v dot find width by id and then android dot support dot design oh support dot design and then dot r dot id and then dot snag bar text right and then i'm gonna change the text we dot set text color and here again i think uh, i can copy this one directly instead of just oh of course i cannot copy this one so let's type it doesn't matter okay get resource dot get color and inside this one r dot color dot snag bar text right and then finally i want to set the accent text color right so the snag bar you can say dot set accent text color so same get resources dot get color and then r dot color dot color snag bar text okay oh color snag bar action color snag bar mm, somewhere i may have miss snag bar action okay this one perfect now let's run this application and we'll see see here okay however it is not looking great so i have to do some you know uh, designing here so what i can do uh, i think i have to change that to you know to a light gray i mean the background at least i have to change this background to the light gray that's really looking you know very bad So let's check it with the light gray. See here. Right, so message sent. I press the undo, message restore. So this is all about the snack bar. And uh, I would like to stop this video tutorial here. And uh, in next video tutorial, I'll be covering more videos on bot of navigations, web pagers, image slide, tab layout, and uh, collapsing toolbar layouts, card weave, recycler weave. I mean, we have I have uh, uh, many more things to cover in this video tutorial series. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for next video. Subscribe this channel so that you can get update directly into your inbox. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.